So you may have noticed last year that I started a new job. I'm currently here in China to meet with the team. So what does my job involve? This is just the day in the life of what I do in China. Dajaha. I need to slow down so that everyone can understand. Just walking into the office and I picked up some breakfast along the way. Uh, what's your dong one? The show, Bo House, the English show, Monday show. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm Brendan. For those that you don't know, we're going to go through some of the basics of the Waffle Slab and where we're sitting, some of the goals we're trying to achieve as well, and some of the stuff mostly with, with the project as well. In the construction industry for carbon, carbon, and we're trying to reduce carbon globally, right? So a 40% reduction means that we've got a 40% reduction in the embodied carbon in an RC structure. It means a 40% embodied carbon reduction. If we're able to achieve that, that means that from what is currently concrete is a, is a product that achieves about 10% of the global emissions for, for carb, embodied carbon in, in the buildings. As you can see, my day in China is very much like it was for most of the time. I do some work in the morning, talk to some of my international members. Then later, I needed to present to them about where the project's going and give them some training on the areas that we're building up. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you the factory of where the production is going, but it's getting very exciting. So we're currently back in the hotel after another busy day at work. As you can see, when, in, when traveling, there's a lot of meetings, a lot of discussions with people backwards and forwards, but just catching up is nothing beating that in-person experience and have to have that in-person experience helps build those relationships with the people so you can work closer even when remote again but also just to understand some of the problems that they're having you see when i'm discussing things with them i don't actually know potentially what the issues were especially online it doesn't come across totally what the issues are but in person you can sketch things on whiteboards you can have in-person discussions and have a lot more of those physical interactions so you can more thoroughly understand the issues that they're having so you can try and solve them and lead to a better solution. But the other great thing about traveling is the fact that you get to see a lot of different cultures and about how other people live. It is really different all around the world. A lot of great thing about traveling is a different type of cricket. But the one thing I do really miss is my family. You know, traveling is fun. Most people go, oh, wow, you're traveling for business. But it really, you've got to try and make every effort count. So it means that every day that you're away, you need to make sure it's beneficial for both you and the company, because otherwise, while you're there, and they're paying for you to be in that location, whether it be hotel rooms, food, whatever it may be. But you've got to make sure you're making the best out of your time. If you did enjoy this day in the life, there's two other episodes that you may enjoy. Either my typical day at WSP, or my day on the farm. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, there are two ways that you can do this. You can click on to become a YouTube member or become a Patreon member with links in the below description. Without the support of my YouTube and Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you next week. Bye.